Hi guys, um, so I thought I would make a video of how to make a branching dichotomous tree from a written one. So here's the written one, the form that we're used to um, doing, and now we're going to start with the branching one. So just like we do in the um, written one, we start with the first question, and the first question talks about the um, mouth. So I would go ahead and write mouth and it says if it's open or closed so we take two branches we say open or closed now if it was open just like it says here we have to go to two and question two talks about arms. So for two, we have two options, arms or no arms. So from the open, we branch two things, arms and no arms. Now, for the arms, we have to go to question three. And three talks about whether they have hair or not. So um, from the arms, we'll branch, we say hairy or not hairy. Okay, let me just double. Hairy. Okay, and so now we have gone from question one that's open, we went to question two, and if it has arms, we went to question three, if it's hairy. Now, here it says, if it's hairy, then we have the name of the species. And for hairy, it's called alienus, alienus hericus. And since this is a scientific name, we have to underline it. If it's not hairy, the species would be like it says here, alienus tritophicus. Again, we have to underline it because this is a scientific name. So now we've had an open um, mouth. If it has arms, we checked if it was hairy, then our species would be Alienus hericus, and if it wasn't hairy, then it would be Alienus tritothicus. Now, if it had no arms, which is here, it tells us automatically that this species is, which I'm going to put down here, um, if it has no arms, it is species Alienus quadlegus. There we go here. So, quadlegus. Again, we have to underline it because it's a scientific name. Now, we go to the closed or mouth not open, and it tells us to go to four. Question four talks about horns. So if it has horns, no horns, or horns. So um, if it has horns, or it has no horns. If it has horns, you can check in the written one. This is the name of it. So if it's horns, then it is Alienus um, stripicus. Again, you underline it. And if it's no horns, tells us to go to question five. And five talks about legs. So if it's no legs or if it's legs. So from the horns, I'm going to just make it this way. So if it has legs or no legs if um, 
if it has legs, as you can see here, it is species alienus fuzzicus, because it's fuzzy. And if it's no legs, then as it says here, it is alienus blobicus. Alienus blobicus. And then we have to underline it. So this way, we have gone from a written dichotomous tree to a branched one. And so if we were trying to identify, let's say, this alien here, the first one. So we look at the mouth. Is its mouth open or closed? We can see from the image that its mouth is open. So we go to the open branch and then it guides us to arms or no arms. We look at it. If it has arms, we go this way. If it doesn't have arms, we go that way. And it doesn't have arms. So there we go. We found the species. And so basically, this is how dichotomous trees work. They refer to the characteristics that you can see um, of the species, or sometimes characteristics that you should be aware of, but you can't really see from the image. Um, and this example with the aliens um, shows you how it's referring to their characteristics. So alienus hericus, because it has hair. Um, alienus tritoothicus, because it has three teeth. Um, alienus quadligus, because it has four legs. Um, so this should help you with how to make branching dichotomous trees and how to... Um, identify the species. If you have any questions, as always, you can always reach out to me. Thank you.